Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be covering a wild grass seed that is very underlooked when it comes to our bird's nutrition. I'll be explaining to you exactly which type of grass seed it is and how I feed it to the birds, and we'll be answering three specific questions. Where can we find this grass seed? Are they nutritious? And the most important question of them all, will the birds eat them? After all, if we're gonna spend the time looking for and collecting these grass seeds, we wanna be sure that the birds will enjoy them. The grass seed that we're going to be discussing in this video is called Panicum virgatum, also known as switchgrass. And this is a tall growing, warm seasonal perennial grass that is native to much of North America, but it can also be found around the world. This grass breaks its winter dormancy in late April and provides seeds up through late August, early September. They can be found in dry or moist prairies, stream banks, open woods, and even sometimes on the side of roads. At the time of making this video right now, we're in early November and it could be a little bit difficult to find this grass seed depending on what part of the country you're from. If you're in a cooler environment like up north, most of these grasses are already dried up and dying. So you're going to have to wait till next year for April until they start growing back up again and seeding. If you're in the warmer climates like here in Florida, you might still be able to find some, although the majority of the seeds have fallen from the stems and the grasses are starting to dry up. What I like to do is I usually start picking them in early June and this is about the time where the seeds are ripe and they're at the right condition to feed to the birds. I'll pick them from June all the way up to August. I'll place them in the freezer to keep them as fresh as possible and this allows me to continue feeding these seeds in December, January, and February. So exactly how nutritious are these grass seeds? Well, if given during the right time of the year, like I said, they can be extremely nutritious, usually having more nutrition than the regular dry seeds that you offer your birds. These green seeds can have anywhere from 16 to 18% crude protein. When it comes time to feeding these seeds to the birds, there's a variety of different methods that can be used to giving the seeds. One of the easiest ones being grabbing the stem, placing it somewhere in your cage or in the aviary, and just letting the birds pluck at the seeds. But one of the preferred methods that I have is actually taking the seeds off of the stem. Now this method can be a little bit more messy and a little bit more time consuming, but what it does is it allows you to then be able to add these seeds to other protein sources. For example, I like to add these seeds to the bird's egg food. I mix it in with sprouted seeds, sometimes with vegetables and other times with freeze dried insects. So the final question that I'm going to answer is, will the birds actually eat these seeds? And this is something that's very important because if we're going to put in the effort and the time to collect these seeds, are the birds actually going to eat them? The simple answer is yes. We have to remember that birds in the wild are stimulated to breed at the beginning of the rainy season. And one of the reasons why that happens is because at the beginning of the rainy season, green seeds are plentiful. This is their main source of food at the beginning and this is what gets them into breeding condition. So in captivity, if we're able to offer these green seeds, we're able to get certain species of birds into breeding condition and we'll have better success in the long run. So if you have a pair of birds that you've been having a hard time getting into breeding condition, I highly suggest that you start to incorporate these green seeds into their diet and hopefully this along with other sources of protein will help them get into that condition to begin breeding. Alright guys, well this is going to be the end of another video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it like always. And I know it's a little bit late in the year to come out with this video since the majority of these grass seeds are pretty much dying right now. But at least this will help you be better prepared for next year if you want to start incorporating grass seeds into your finches nutrition. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, like always, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and comment below and let me know if this is something that you've already incorporated into your finches nutrition and if you've seen a change in them. Like always, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care.